Bergenwald, Modular Construction Design Considerations. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. Watch as we share essential knowledge about various modular construction design considerations of curtain wall, including key features, the benefits of semi-unitized or unitized curtain wall, and real-world examples. Now let's look at curtain wall, because there's a couple of different ways you can approach a curtain wall on a commercial building. The curtain wall, by definition, is, again, non-load-bearing, so you don't want to have it supporting the structure of the building. It's relying on the structure of the building to support the curtain wall system. Where window wall spans floor to floor, slab to slab, curtain wall to the exterior, it spans past the floor lines. So it's going to go past the floor lines from one to the next, anchor back to the floor lines behind it, where window wall sits within the slabs, anchoring at the head and the sill. Curtain wall spans past it. A couple of different options for curtain wall. You can see on the left, your typical stick construction. You can see a lift here on the outside. The verticals are being set, then they're coming back and rolling the horizontals over them. So this is going on piece by piece, component by component, being installed from the exterior. Now this is pre-assembly, semi-unitized or pre-assembly. You can see you've got one, two, three, four modules of four columns already pre-built into one. Here you can see an adjacent one already installed. These are being raised up one by one and set in place. So now all of this joinery that's being done in the field here has already been done here in the shop. You're not having to worry about all that labor here in the field. It's already embedded and it's already been done in the shop environment. Next is unitized. You can see these are pre-assembled and pre-glazed and then set one by one. Once they're set, bang, it's closed up. There's nothing else that needs to be done on the exterior. Very quick way to enclose a building. But I also want you to notice this, the arrow here moving across where it says decreasing site work. As you move from stick construction to pre-assembly to unitized, you're reducing the amount of labor in the field and moving it to the shop. Again, where you've got greater control over the labor, quality control, and better work conditions. So that's our goal here. Moving from stick toward modular construction is moving labor from the field into a shop environment. So glass design considerations, let's look at some of the drivers of what system you'd select. If you look at the picture here, a very tall curtain wall here, wide spacing. So this curtain wall subjected to a lot of wind load, a lot of dead load. So it needed to be a bigger, more monumental type system. So because of the big elevation here and the tall spans, this had to be a stick system. This had to be a tubular mullion. So you can see here's a tubular curtain wall mullion here. Here you can see shear blocks attached to the side of it. Mullion sits on a T anchor. Shear blocks are what the horizontal, you can see it's open back. So that rolls over the shear block, then a snap in filler. So this tall span here really needed to be a tubular system. So curtain walls like this can range from six inches to ten and a half inches and handle some very big structural components or structural loads. Now this project was done with a screw spline curtain wall system. So you can see in the illustration here, there aren't shear blocks. It's a two-piece vertical that engages together. So you're running fasteners through the inside of the vertical into the horizontal elements, and you're building what's called a ladder. So by building this with one half of the vertical here, the other half on this side, horizontals, you make a ladder. So in this area over here, the curtain wall was installed by building ladders that span two floor lines. They were all tipped up one by one, anchored back to the structure, then the adjacent one tipped up and now locked into it. You can see in the illustration here, the interlock between the two halves of the curtain wall. It's an interlock here and an interlock here. So what that looks like is this. If you notice the, in the crated containers here, these are ladders. You really can't see how tall these are, but these are very long, tall ladders. They cover two floor spans. So they're probably in the range of, I'd say 24, 26 foot long. It's called a ladder. You can see the holes drilled here. That's to access the F and T anchors under each of the verticals. So once it's brought in place, glass can be glazed into it. So you can either glaze it afterwards, or as you can see here, glass can be pre-glazed into the ladders. Then those are brought in one by one and interlocked with each other and then anchored back to the building. So that was ladder, so it's pre-assembly, but this now is unitized. In some applications, like this building, you can see where the curtain wall completely encloses this elevation. All of these were pre-glazed, pre-built modules. There were unitized curtain wall. Each of the modules brought out and set one by one, enclosing the building. So they wrapped around the exterior there and enclosed it with everything being built into it, the glass, the frames and all.
So with the unitized curtain wall system, all your fabrication is done in a shop environment. You can see there's a table here with rollers. So these are rolling down a line of production line. The frames were assembled. Now they're setting the glass into it. Then once that's set, the modules cure for six, seven days, whatever's required by the silicone manufacturer. Then they're crated and brought to the job site. So you can see a truck here is carrying crates of modules. So here are the crates here, and they're being offloaded from the truck. Then a crane raises them up, and they're distributed along each floor. And that is the floor that they are going to enclose. So they're distributed on each floor. Then a crane from above drops a hoist down and hooks onto the head of each module, pulls it up and out, then drops it back down. Then I'll come over here, grab the next one, pull it up, out, drop it back down. So you can see how quickly this is going to wrap around the building and enclose it, then move to the next floor, wrap around and enclose it. So here's an example of a project. You can see right over here where the glass is stopping at this corner. So they'll just continue to wrap along this elevation, get to this corner, turn and move down here and meet where they started back at this corner. Then move to the next floor and wrap around again the same way, wrapping around and enclosing each elevation. So unitized curtain wall systems are great because think about all the interior traits. This is open up here, but down below, all the interior traits are already on the project site working on the interior. Contractors love that because they can get their interior traits going very very quickly behind the glazers. So with the unitized curtain wall, it's going to sit on an anchor, and these anchors are designed to be adjusted. They can move in and out. The modules can be raised up or down. They can go side to side and front and back. So you can really adjust it because the modules on a unitized system have to run in a straight line all the way down the elevation, and they have to all be consistently flat at the stop of the same line. So these are very adjustable to make sure that the lines are all consistent, our reference points are hit all the way around the building, and they're all lined up keeping consistent elevations. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.